that uh, nine of the world's most dangerous superbugs have been found on the underground. Scientists from London Metropolitan University have carried out tests on buses and tube trains. Eleanor Cunningham is at King's Cross for us uh, this evening. Uh, Ellie, uh, uh, one of the lines going through this station said to be the worst offender. Yes, well, that one is the Victoria Line, and we rode it here, so we're, we were a bit worried on our way. But this is a new study that has put public transport under the microscope, and it's been put on by the London Metropolitan University, and it's found that the tube is the filthiest way to travel around the capital. Now, if we just go through some of the top-line figures from the study, 121 bacteria have been found across all of the public transport networks. That's including nine so-called superbugs, which are the world's most threatening known to human life. Now, on the underground, they found traces of E. coli and faecal bacteria. And the dirtiest line, as I said, is the Victoria line. They found 22 types of living bacteria just on that one line alone. And if you're lucky enough to travel on the Metropolitan line, that is the cleanest one. Now, we're here in King's Cross, where those, the dirtiest and the cleanest lines both converge. And I'm joined by Paul, Dr. Paul um, Matt Welly, who has been the head of the research behind this from the London Metropolitan University. Now, first of all, should we be worried about what your fi study's findings have found? I think the main worry is the number of bacteria that were there. Although they are class, classified as class two, in essence, some of them are called superbugs because they've become resistant to a lot of antibiotics. And in particular, those that are the fecal bacteria were really it's, it's, It was worrying to find so many of them in such high numbers. So, really, when it comes to the tube, so many people use it every day, you'd think it would be inevitable that they'd get a bit dirty, but were you surprised at just how, how intense they were? Yes, I think the main surprise was the numbers of the bacteria, not just in terms of the different types, but the quantity of the bacteria that we actually found is what actually surprised us a lot. And as I say, um, it, it, it looked like it was consistent in the all different lines that we looked at. And out of all of the different bacteria, these superbugs are obviously the ones that people are going to be most worried about. What is the most shocking thing that you found throughout this study? I think, as I said, the most shocking thing was finding the fecal bacteria, which um, you would have thought that something would have been done about it. I know they say they do something about it, but I'm not sure if they evaluate how effective the methods are in trying to reduce the numbers of those types of bacteria. Because when TfL have commented on this, they've said that their carriages are cleaned every single night. In fact, the seats aren't, but they do say that they carry out a cleaning regime. So what do you say to that, really? I think they should consider trying to reduce the bacterial numbers um, so that um, you reduce the chances of infection because the greater the number of bacteria you have, the greater the risk of a threshold of infection. Riding on the tube, who would be who would be most at risk? Really, I think the people who have um, a, 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 a compromised immune system; those are the ones who probably are likely to be at risk. But I'd also be concerned about people who are visiting someone, let's say, in hospital, who might be vulnerable to an infection, in that they may transmit some of these bacteria, which have got. Um, genes that are resistant to antibiotics and if the person is being treated for antibiotics they might find those antibiotics no longer effective. Dr Paul McWelly, thank you very much for speaking to us this evening. Um, so there you have it, the dirtiest line is the Victoria and the cleanest is the Metropolitan and I think many people now watching this report may want to invest in some antibacterial wipes before they make their next journey. Indeed. Okay, that's Alan Cunningham for us over at King's Cross Station. Certainly.